Former Tata Sons chairman Cyrus Mistry died in a car accident on Sunday. Reports now suggest he was not wearing a seatbelt. Officials say Mistry was sitting in the back seat. Since he wasn't wearing the seatbelt, the cut-in airbags did not open for him. In India, very few wear seatbelts in the back seat. But it is important to understand airbags are considered a supplemental restraint system. They only work if one is wearing a seatbelt. In Mystery's case, since he wasn't wearing one, the airbag did not open. This brings us to road accidents in India. They are a major killer in the country. India accounts for only 3% of the world's vehicles. But it accounts for 12% of all crash-related deaths in the world. In 2020, over 130,000 people lost their lives in road accidents. Some 70% of the victims were aged between 18 to 45. The United Nations study says that India loses 58 billion US dollars annually due to road accidents. That means India's GDP takes a 3% hit every year only due to road accidents. Our correspondent Disha Shah tells you what this means. In the Cyrus mystery death case, the Maharashtra police is probing all the possible angles. Number one, they are checking the CCTV cameras for speeding. Remember, the incident took place on a Sunday afternoon. There were four people inside the car traveling from Ahmedabad towards Mumbai when the driver lost control and the car hit the divider. This is as per the early investigations by the police. But they are also checking the CCTV cameras to ascertain whether the car was over speeding or not. So that is number one. Second angle is uh, that they are checking whether the seat belts were used or not at the time of the incident. Remember, the passengers who were sitting at the back of the seat, including Cyrus Mistry, died on the spot. So whether the rear seat belts were used or not, that is also being investigated. And thirdly, as per the procedure, the forensic team have collected the samples from the incident site. So all of these are the possible angles that the Maharashtra police is probing as we speak and the report of this entire incident will be submitted in a day or two. With video journalist Amit Pawar, this is Ishasha reporting for Vion, World is One. One Indian is killed in a traffic accident every three and a half minutes. That means 150,000 traffic-related deaths every year. But this is just government data. The real figures are much higher. WHO estimates there are around 300,000 traffic deaths in India every year. So what causes this accident? First, India's roads are very chaotic. They are crowded with vendors and parked vehicles. Second, most of them do not follow the rules. Many drivers ignore lane markings. They do not pay much heed to traffic signals either. Overtaking from the wrong side is also frequent. Pedestrians too are reckless, especially moving through fast-moving traffic. Other factors include the lack of proper traffic awareness. Millions of drivers receive licenses through bribery. To make matters worse, around 37% truck drivers with licenses have no formal training. As per official estimates, over half the deaths can be stopped by providing timely medical assistance. However, very few emergency services are available outside cities. Lack of investment to enforce safety measures are also part of the problem. Basic road infrastructure is flawed in many regions. A large proportion and portion of vehicles are also old and lack safety essentials such as seat belts and airbags. Indian government has set a target of reducing the number of road accidents by half between 2020 and 2030. They have introduced changes to road safety rules. The government has introduced hefty fines and prison sentences for common traffic violations. Two-wheeler drivers face license suspension if they are caught without helmet. Additionally, they have also tightened seat belt and airbag rules in the country. So what are the seat belt laws in India? Seatbelts are compulsory for passengers in rare seat of moving vehicle in India. In June 2022, India's Union Road Transport Minister made it mandatory for automobile manufacturers to provide a minimum of six airbags in cars carrying up to eight passengers. In February 2022, they also mandated automakers to provide three-point seat belts for all front-facing passengers in a car. Yet many of these rules are still not followed in the country.
Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.